name of presenter, Mrs. S. E. Stander, program office administration, subject office data processing, level three, topic to be covered, topic seven, developing spreadsheets using Microsoft Excel, module 14, reference material used, office data processing for MS Office 2010, NQF level three textbook, page 2452255. Resources required by student, textbook, and a computer. Topic 7, Module 14, Unit 14.3, Format Charts, Change Chart Options. In the previous video, I showed you how to insert a chart in Excel. Now I'm going to show you how to format chart, charts in Excel using the Design tab on your toolbar. You can use the Charts Design tab to change the chart type, the position of the rows and columns on the chart, the data series, the chart layout, for example, the labels, the axis and the background, and the colors of your data series. If we go back to our Excel and our chart that we've inserted, as soon as you select your chart. Select means you click on it so that you can see the little block around it. As soon as you select your chart, you have chart tools on top of your toolbar. Anything to do with that chart will be under chart tools. In design, you will have uh, colors or quick layout or the chart element, chart styles, and so on. And then you also have format where you can shape full or shape outline, shape effects. So the first thing I want to show you is the chart type. How can I change my chart type? I get a, a question where the chart is already done and they tell me I must change this chart to another type of chart. So I select my chart, I click on design and on top you will see there it says chart change chart type. You click on it, and there's your different ty types of charts again, like in the previous video. And now you can choose the correct one that they want you. Let's say they asked me to change it. At the moment, it's bar. Let's change it to a column chart. Let's make it a 3D clustered column chart. And then we'll click on OK. That's how I change my chart type. Under Design, I go to change chart type the position of the rows and the columns on the chart it's not advisable to change the position of the rows and the columns on your on your chart because it might mean that some of your chart information will be cut off data series if i go back to my chart and i go to data series. Remember, we selected this information when we wanted to create the chart. So if I need to change the information that I want to use in my chart, I can go to select data under design, go to select data. Then I'll jump back to my worksheet where I've made my choice or my selection of data that must be in my chart. I can now, there's my select data source window. I can click on that little red button and it minimizes. Now I can select again what data it is I want in my chart. So let's say the information says I only need 2012 and 2013's information in the chart, not 2014. I reselect my information, click on the little red button again, and I click on OK. And now only that information is available. So if I need to change the data, what data I use to create my chart, I click on Select Data, and I go and select the correct data that they want me to use. Change the layout, the labels, axis, and background of a chart. So let's go back to our chart. I can add different 
things to my chart. If I go to chart elements, I've got axis titles, a primary and a horizontal primary, uh, horizontal and primary axis title. I've got chart title. Where do I want it? Above the chart. Centered overlay. I've got data labels. I've got data table. I've got grid lines and I've got legend. So if I need to put in a chart title, I can go to chart title, click there. I want it above the chart and there is my chart title. Now I can just click in the block and I can delete whatever is there and I can type in my chart title. If I need to add access labels or access titles, I can go to the primary horizontal title, access title, it will be at the bottom. And I can type in the block whatever the title is that they give me to type. So if I need to add labels or titles to my chart, I go to chart elements and I choose whichever title or data label they want me to do. Make sure you read your instructions. Where do they want it? For instance, right, top, left, bottom. Uh, the chart title must it be above the chart. The axis title must it be horizontal or vertical. So please read your instructions very carefully when you insert your titles and your labels on your chart because there's different positions and you might lose marks. So under design for chart tools, chart elements, I've got my access titles and data labels. The color of the data series. I can also change the color of my chart. So if I select my data series, which will be the, the columns here, I can go and change the color, change color, and I can choose whatever color it is that I like to change my title or my, my data series in my chart. As soon as I click on it, the color of my chart changes. Chart styles, there's different types of styles. I can choose which style, they all got different names, style five, style four, style 11, depending on your instruction, you just click on it and the style of your chart changes. Unit 14.4, print charts. Printing a chart that's in the same worksheet as the spreadsheet or printing a chart, that chart that's on a different worksheet from the spreadsheet. So if I go back, remember this chart we saved in its own worksheet. But if I go back to my information here, I've inserted a chart on the worksheet that I've used. So I can just go to File, Print, and my document will print with the chart and the information. But if I just need to print the chart and not the information, I can select my chart. I can go to File, Print, and only the chart will be selected and will print, and I can click on Print. If I have saved my chart in a different sheet like this one, I can just select the chart in the sheet. I can go to File, I can go to Print, and there is my chart and I can print it as normally. So what have we learned? That you can change chart options, options and format charts using the design tab. Remember, as soon as you select your chart, you will have your chart tools available on top, design and format. Anything to do with that chart will be under chart tools. So whatever instructions you get, you will find under chart tools, design or format.